At the moment, I'm at a rather embryonic stage of the uh, process just now. Um, I've sort of, again, I suppose as a composer, you work on all sorts of different projects at any one time. And at the moment, I'm sort of toying with uh, some of the instruments that we're going to use for the project, which are quite sort of unconventional. I'm meeting some of the individuals who are going to be involved in the project. And I'm generally just thinking about an overarching concept, I suppose. The instruments we're going to be using in this project uh, are primarily these ones. I've got Skoog here. Um, I have one of these at home and I've been sort of experimenting and spend my summer probably experimenting with uh, this to find out what it might do, but also to see what, what it could do by pushing the boundaries uh, of this instrument and the others involved as well. I'm also going to be using a uh, sound beam, which is a, an ultrasonic beam uh, that you can break with your hand, uh, the participants can use, and also something called a bike switch. I think one of the participants uh, will hopefully be using that uh, to, trigger, uh, to trigger sort of musical moments. This is quite an interesting project in terms of the fact that um, I suppose quite often as a composer, that I suppose there's sort of perception that you'll go away and sit in a darkened room somewhere and work in it and then uh, appear at the front door to the rapturous applause of crowds waiting to hear your next masterpiece. Uh, well, whether that happens or not, I think is negligible, but generally um, it is quite a solitary uh, pursuit. And actually for something like this, I'm quite enjoying the interaction with uh, uh, the staff and participants here at Drake Music Scotland. Um, and also being able to sort of work hands-on with the instruments, with the sounds that might sort of give me ideas for things that I would then use uh, later on in the piece. I'm most looking forward to, I suppose, um, putting the whole thing together, actually. I mean, that's sort of the, I suppose it's the end goal. Um, I'm enjoying working out, I suppose, how that is actually going to fit together. At the moment, I've very little concept of how that's actually going to work um, beyond sort of taking some of these sounds and marrying them with other sounds and finding out what you know sort of what's going to come out of that um, and working out about how we can uh, integrate the individuals into the project uh, what they can bring to it so i suppose um, this is the end goal being uh, sort of how it all comes together i think it's quite exciting but i am enjoying generally the process of gradually fitting it together as time goes by I think as a composer, I, I always get very worried when you see your name appearing on something for a performance of a piece that hasn't actually been written yet. Um, and I think, I think that worries anybody because you know, you, you're know you sort of so far away from the creative process, you're not quite sure what the end product is going to be, especially if you have to sort of talk about it in public. But that's exciting as well, that's, that's sort of giving me sort of ideas, it's spurring me on to, to come up with something. In this case, I feel very much um, that the sort of the beginnings of the creative process ha has been done by working with Drake Music Scotland, by working with the individuals here, by meeting some of the, the individuals that we could potentially work with, uh, and finding out also what their sort of um, musical interests are. Uh, I think that's actually been quite an important part of it. Um, I think it's, it, it's sort of trying to generate um, ideas out with of just my own uh, sort of personal creative processes.